Siren over here and I'm back again with another video. If you're like me and love Pandora Remix, as well as the pre-patch event, then you've probably sat on a couple of new alts that were ready to go at level 70 or just ever so slightly lagging behind. In today's video, I want to discuss managing those alts starting at the character select screen right the way through to managing currency, boss kills and instance lockouts. That sounds up your street? Then drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos I'll be producing in the future. With the launch of the latest patch ahead of the War Within expansion, Blizzard released Warbands, and for most, this was a great way of seeing your characters as their own group of players. For others though, it was chaos as there was many players who had created characters on multiple servers with the same name, and as part of the Warbands UI change, you no longer had to swap realms to see your ults, you literally see them in one big list. Luckily, Blizzard did introduce a search bar that has passed a lot of people by, and this is actually quite powerful. There's a few searches I'm bound to have missed out, but the ones I've discovered are Name, you can search for the full or partial name of your characters to filter them down. You can search for the class, so whether you're searching for a warrior, a mage, etc. You can search by level. I couldn't find a way to do a greater or lower than to show characters under a certain level, so if you do know, please leave a comment below. Professions, you can show any character that you have by just searching for the uh, profession name. Location, you can search by location, which is fantastic if you're camping a world boss or a rare and you need to quickly do your weekly kills. You can also search by factions, so you can do a search for horde or alliance characters. The only annoying thing that they can't do at this moment in time is a search by server name. So again, you're just going to have to use any of those to filter down by your characters, unfortunately. Now you know what alt you want to play. There's several add-ons that you can use to show where they're actually at in the game in terms of progression. The whole purpose of using add-ons to manage your alts is literally to allow you to see information about those alts without having to log in. There are several go-tos that I know players use, but some of these are my favourites. First up is saved instances. This is my go-to for managing alts and knowing which characters I've done weekly quests on, which have got raid lockouts already, as well as knowing what currencies they have. Trove Tally, I discovered this in Pandaria Remix and I honestly don't know how I survived so long without it. It allows you to filter items that you have already acquired on alts from vendors, so you can see what you still need to buy. This came in really handy when Blizzard activated currency transfer for a lot of currencies in the last two weeks. Next up is Alter Ego. Slightly similar to saved instances, you can gather information about Mythic Plus keys, raid lockouts and more, as well as raider IO ratings, etc. This one is geared more towards the competitive PvE player. One of the best features I use it for though is to show if you've got rewards in your weekly vaults waiting for you. Next up is good old TSM. One aspect of TSM beyond the gold making aspect is that there is a built in to do list for crafting cooldowns. It's a great way of ensuring you do your daily cooldowns and nothing goes to waste. It also tracks your inventory so you can easily see which characters have got the items in their bag when hovering over a tooltip. You can also filter out those cooldowns that you want to ignore. I've done that quite a lot for a lot of the historical um, expansions as well. And then last up, we've got Altaholic. I'd be remiss to not mention the daddy of all alt management tools, Altaholic. It does a lot of what these individual add-ons do and is great for bank management, level management, and even seeing how many hours you've put into each character. It also shows which item each alt has equipped, which is great if you're raiding and potentially want to sub in an alt for the chance of a boss drop. Personally, I don't use Altaholic as it's just too much information for me, but it's definitely the go-to for a lot of players. There are several websites to manage your alts, and the two main ones that I tend to use are WowThing. I've made an entire video on WowThing and the absolute treasure trove of information it gives you. I've left the link above as well as in the description. I highly recommend you check it out. If you've not heard of WowThing, then all you need to know is that you can see all of your alt data, reputations, professions, all in one place, and it's a great way of understanding what you're missing out on for profession bonuses. Wow Audit is the next one. I'm a Patreon subscriber for Wow Audit, that's how much I believe in it, and it's one of the best alt guild management tools around. It allows you to manage your character list, track items, cooldowns, and expansion information such as Renown in Dragonflight. It's also a Google Sheet that ties in with their website interface. So if you know a little bit of Excel or a little bit of Google Sheets, you can actually add your own custom sheets, formulas and functions to it to customise it even further. I've done a hell of a lot of modding out of mine and it's a great way of managing your alts without having to log into the game. And that's it, a quick video on how to manage your alts in War Within. If you found the video useful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos. 
it's war within expansion so i'm going to be producing a hell of a lot more but in the meantime take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next video